And welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers along with Bob Sellers. Have you heard about this? It's a Netflix cartoon. It's called Paradise PD, and it actually depicts a gun-wielding Jesus in season two of the latest series. Now, the cartoon ridicules white male gun owners for owning guns and bashes the NRA. Watch this. But I want to show you why guns aren't the problem. They're the solution. Just check out this reenactment video that imagines a world where Jesus had guns. Any last words, Jesus? Yeah, Messiah Nara. Okay. And that's not all. That's not no, the only over-the-top part of the clip. Well, we can't show you the rest of it, or we won't. Um, it also shows Jesus uh, kissing two women. Needless to say, the depiction of the pistol-packing Christ is causing controversy. Uh, the left, do they know no limits when it comes to attacking the things that they disagree with? Andrew, I'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit speechless after mm. watching that, Heather. But, um, you know, look, they're protected by our First Amendment rights to show that. Um, but as a consumer, it's not late enough to it's not a, it's not too late to uh, to give something else up for the end of Lent. And considering it's that time of season, I may be giving up Netflix uh, oh. <laughs> this year. So. Look, they're welcome to show that, and I as a consumer am welcome to take my disposable income elsewhere, and that's the beauty of our freedoms in this country. Yeah, Kira, uh, this isn't the first time that uh, Netflix has put out something that's controversial. All I want to say, all for real, all I want to say right now is go to church, God don't <laughs> like ugly, um, go cleanse yourself. <laughs> uh, no, listen, I, I'm with Andrew on this one, yeah. it, you know, it's it's free speech, put whatever, whatever you want out, but don't pretend, let's not pretend that it's cutting edge commentary. I mean, the, the least risky group to make fun of or to insult are Christians and white Christians of that, at, at that, and gun owners. They are the, they're, I, why don't you know, put me in that video? I'm a Christian and I'm a gun owner. I have several guns, you know, yeah. uh, I, I'm not, uh, the narrative that they can make fun of, quote, safely. You know, I'll count it as edgy, I'll count it as risky if that's Muhammad shooting yeah. a bunch of people up. You know, otherwise, for me, I mean, this is a, yeah, is it outrageous? Of course, I don't like my God being insulted, and it does make me want to tiptoe away from people in case that lightning bolt stri strikes. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not sweating it because this is not controversy. Yeah. It's barely even edgy at this point. So, you know, have at it. Andrew's right. Yeah, I can turn it off or you can turn it off and we can take our uh, viewing money it did, elsewhere. It does seem like that it's becoming the norm when you have these uh, far left agenda or ideas, Steve, and what is acceptable to be on television, to be, you know, on Netflix, to be shown on the Grammys. And we don't even need to get into what the Grammys showed. Uh, that's acceptable. And I do feel that dangerously, a lot of folks are now becoming more silent and they're afraid to speak out against these things. I agree with that. And, you know, I watched the whole video. I'm disgusted by it as a Christian, uh, offended. I gave up Netflix a long time ago. There are a bunch of degenerates over there, obviously. Uh, but you know what? Christians need to stop being silent. They need to stop sitting in the corner waiting for the rapture. And they need to get up and they need to do something about this. Yeah, we have a First Amendment. But how far do we go with the First Amendment? This is allowed a Muslim depicting uh, 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 Muhammad would never be allowed. You would right. never have right. another faith even attempted to be made of, and I'll tell made fun of, and I'll tell you why. Because Christians have, let's turn the other cheek, brother. That's all it's been, and it's about time Christians get very loud and boisterous, because if we don't, this is gonna continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we can turn things off, I get it. But at the end of the day, to even allow Netflix to think that they can actually do this and they know they can do this and get away with it because we're all crickets about it. Sam. Right. Yeah. Uh, crickets is what you hear from the right um, oftentimes because they know that they'll be banned from social media if they speak out against certain things. Bob. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm for the free speech thing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad I live in a country that allows it. I wouldn't want to live in a, a country where they're offended by uh, them taking on uh, religious leaders. 
But I can find it repulsive and I can find it insulting and I can agree with uh, um, Andrew that you can choose not to utilize Newsmax and vote that way. I mean, when Dixie Chicks said what they did, um, d d the problem was they can say what they want to and right. then people can respond and people responded by not buying their music. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the same thing can happen here. And if you respond by saying, I'm not going to use uh, that anymore, I'm not going to watch Netflix anymore then that's the consequence. So I, I, I think they have the right to do it, but I think people have a right to say, mm, not for me. Yeah. Like, like there aren't other streaming services out there? Yeah, uh, I know. I mean, I also think, though, there, there's this overwhelming um, influence by people with louder voices to limit the conversation from both sides. So people like us who think that this is outrageous and it shouldn't be there, even though they have a right to put it there, are silenced. I think that's definitely the biggest issue or the bigger issue. No Speedy Gonzales, right? right? Can't have Speedy Gonzales, yeah. but you can have the, uh, uh, the, the Jesus come off the cross right. and shoot people. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's pretty outrageous, but that's what they wanted, and we're talking about it. So perhaps they uh, <laughs> made are. their point. Maybe not a good thing for them, but they are, we are talking about it. Yeah.